Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Okay, I know that um, the circle monograms are um, very hip and happening. Um, and <clears throat> I want to show you kind of how I can I go about doing that. Um, on the cheap because I don't want to have to buy anything and if you're on my group page on Facebook you know that I can get away with doing things on my own I'm gonna do it because I don't like spending money okay this is one I went in and I started to do node editing okay if you know anything about node editing it can kind of drive you bonkers sometime but I really like doing it to me I find it relaxing but what you do is you can um, pull up let me bring up my library. You can pull up a circle, put it behind there, and then just node edit your shape back in to the circle. Okay, so you're going to, you know, explode the circle. Make it as big as about right there. And you're going to pull this, arrange it, bring it to the front. Alright, so you're going to, you can see that follows that line perfectly. You're just going to back these letters into that shape, okay? So that's one way to do it, which it's going to take you forever to do it that way if you choose. And then there's this way, alright? I'll show you how to do this. Let me back this out of here. Alright, so you can pick any font. You can have a fancy one. You can have a plain one. I'll pick my son's initials. Okay, so there's his initials. Let me just select that. I'm going to come up here to the effects tab. I'm going to come here to bulge. I'm going to kind of get this out of the way. We're going to do make sure it says top, bottom separately. Top offset. All right, that looks good. Bottom. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's try bringing that down a little bit. Well, let's try bringing that up a little bit. Yeah, that looks okay. And you can fiddle around with these numbers till you think it looks good to you. Okay? You can change the font to pull up whatever you want if you want a really fancy one. Okay, so we'll leave that right where it's at. Then we'll go get the a monogram font. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go to the M's. Let me expand this. We'll go, ooh, I went too far. Let's go M O. Monogram K K. All right, let's try. <clears throat> another all right so there's my oldest son's initials get this out of the way <clears throat> excuse me bulge move this out of the way bottom and let's start curving them Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So that's how you go about making your own circle fonts out of whatever font you want. All right, it's a heck of a lot easier if you do the um, come up here to the effects and you do the bulge than it is to try to note edit your way through it. Okay, now I want to show you, <clears throat> excuse me, how you can just real quick create little. Um, like frames to put them in. Okay. Let's lengthen this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I must be catching a cold. Okay, duplicate rotate. Just go ahead and make a little design. This will be kind of like a flower. Come to path, click union. Okay, come and get yourself a little flower, or a little circle. Increase. Let's 
center the flower to the page. Center that. Okay, so I see it's too big. Center that. That looks perfect. Highlight everything. Merge that. Okay, so that one's done. You can make it as big as you want. Put um, monos in there. Oops. Sorry, guys. Let's blow this up. Again, a circle. So whatever shape you want, do a circle. Pull it in. And I use this. Okay, so that looks good because you can make, you know, you can blow it up when you're done. Um, nothing is ever final until you cut it. So if you make a boo-boo, go in and fix it. It is no big deal. Okay, so come over here. And another way you can do this is come up here to path, back minus front, and that center circle goes bye bye. Okay, so then you can put your fonts in here, and let's give them a pop up. Okay, and then watch. Let's pop them up a bit more. Yep, I should put my oldest in the dog park because he's a lot of times he's in the dog house. He's gonna be 16 here in the in September, so I guess it's that teenage stuff, eh? Okay, so how does that look? Let's see. Let's move it a smidge over this way. I would say that looks pretty darn good. So um, there we go. Another reason that I really like Scal. Um, we have so many, so, so very many options available for us. Um, and again, if you come in here, let's say that that wasn't quite tweaked to where you wanted it to be, you could um, come in here and, oh, sorry, little thing. Come in here and again, redo it. Okay? Could make it change all your settings. Okay? I hope you guys like this. I hope it really helps. I hope it um, gives you greater uh, access to even more tools to use with your scan and cut guys. Have a good day. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask anyone on our page. I um, have a lot of really good helpers there. Thanks guys.